Hello and welcome to the channel everybody. Today we got a little bit something different going on. Uh, so on this bike ride I didn't really think uh, I was going to film it and I ended up just sort of throwing the GoPro on and uh, we found some of these single tracks uh, and we just started ripping up them and it was, uh, it was a lot of fun. So I ended up throwing this video together because I just, I just couldn't help but upload a video of this because this, these are just some really cool single tracks. Uh, but you'll notice I'll probably not do much talking in this video because uh, while I was riding I pretty much had my game face on the whole time and was uh, really just focused on trying to ride the bike and uh, keep it rubber side down. There were some fairly large puddles that had just rained the prior day uh, and we were out here riding the day prior. We were doing all these trails in the opposite direction that you'll see me riding them in. Uh, sorry, I should say the first two trails you see me on, we rode prior day, uh, and it was in the dry, so it rained overnight, and then we went in this falling day on the Sunday, and it was uh, a lot wetter, a lot slipperier, a lot more puddles, a lot muddier, but sure made for a good time. Uh, ended up busting up my brake lever, you'll see here shortly in the video. You snag it on a log, and it just gets bent and really jacked up. Ended up just bending it back into place and setting it for the day. Caught it twice more and a couple more logs. Ended up just bending it back into place. Yeah, it was a really wet ride. These yellow bushes here, they hold a whole hell of a lot of moisture and they sure like to get you wet when you brush through them. Breath there and just exhaust it. Getting a little bit of that forearm pump already. Yeah, we should probably go through and take a machete and clear this trail out a bit. It's getting a little bit overgrown. So here we've popped out and started into that second trail now. And all these trails, I'm in first, second gear for the most of the time. They're pretty tight and I don't really remember what's coming around each corner so I'm just kind of going and trying to remember it as I go. You guys can see there my rear brakes. I bent my lever. Yeah. After 45 minutes messing around and bending it back into shape on that tree that's fallen down on her right there, uh, it stuck it back on and back back to riding. For the rest of the day, I ended up having no rear brake. Like you'd press the brake, but the rear tire wouldn't lock up. It's all fixed now, but it's just something for the rest of the day. There was no rear brake, so everything was having to use engine braking. That was the other thing too with some of these, with this bike being so short, some of the stumps you'll see coming up on the side, those did literally just grab your feet off the pegs because the bike is just fairly short and you just catch the boot and rip your feet right off the pegs. On this day in particular, we're probably like good couple layers too many because I was sweating bullets. I really did enjoy this trail though because I had a really good mixture of a little bit of everything. It seemed to have some good single pack dirt for some fun berms and little kicker jumps at some of the ditches and some hard really rock rocky climbs and I wish I had the video but at the end uh, towards the end of the video the camera died but there's this absolutely gnarly stupid hill climb that we got stuck on it's been like a good couple hours just trying to get up this one area because we're well we're into the trail already so we weren't going to stop and try and turn around and go back another way so we just kept sending it And 
down to the left of me there is like a good 90 foot fucking cliff down. But riding the trails the second time through is a lot more difficult than at first because we're all going uphill instead of downhill everything. And everything's now muddy. As well as I'm leading up the trail and I don't really remember where I'm going as I go, so I'm just kind of setting it as we climb. bike really does surprisingly well I'm trying to do all this riding because it honestly was never meant to do this stuff but it sure handles it for what it is pretty well but this is honestly my new fa one of my new favorite places to ride the different kinds of riding and all the different single track dirt bike trails that it has on it. it makes for a whole lot of fun. And we're here on to our third trail and I believe this is the last one that I was somewhat familiar with. weather was nice and held up for us for a bit. It stopped raining which was nice and the clouds just kind of were hanging out. And that puddle right there, I may not look it on camera, but I, when we went through it the other day, it like swallowed, swallowed the bike. So I wasn't about to get stuck up in it. I really didn't want to get my feet wet either. Having those, uh, those hand guards you see there on my bars, those kept my hands a whole hell of a lot drier because it would brush the bush away and usually the water would splash off it before it was hitting my hands. And it kept most of the water off me. Pretty dry hands for the most part. You can see the just amount of water falling off all the branches. And here we're up at the top, viewpoint. You guys will see likely the thumbnail. It's a photo of my bike up the top of that rock. And then we're gonna go over and start crossing back down. There's a huge drop in front of them, so you're saying go down to the right. fun day riding. Can't wait to go back out to this area too. These trails, there's a whole bunch more to go and explore and take some of my other buddies out on these trails. Not sure you'd want to be exactly a newbie riding any of this stuff. You definitely want to have some sort of experience off-roading. doesn't really show up but this part that we're coming down here is pretty steep and just big big gnarly drops there on for the rocks
I'm still having some of my issues with the shifting so in this video I've been just trying to really shift easily uh, and like solidly so like a very confirm confirming like first gear press or second gear press really just making sure I'm doing like a full movement with my foot to make sure it's going into gear because there seems to still be that issue where there's false neutral between gears especially when you're downshifting from third into second so if any of you guys have any recommendations and you guys want to leave me a comment down below uh, with any ideas you guys might have as to what's going on with the third down and second gear why there's a false neutral uh, that'd be cool uh, any help is appreciated so here we're really just riding down through like some slash pile uh, trying to get back out to the main road and it's it's tough with the little tires because the sticks and logs just want to shove you left and right so easily see me checking what gear I'm in because I think I clicked it by accident with my foot or a stick grabbed it. it pulled me into neutral. Riding one of these bikes though is a, it is really a great learner's bike to try and learn how to ride motorbike because this is my first ever dirt bike I've ever owned. I've had quads and stuff before but super soupy right there and then I drop and dump it over a stump and a rock. Sweet made it out of that and there we go made it over to the main roads again. We're on to the next trail. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video today. Thanks long. Thanks for coming along for a ride with me and checking out some more hip bike content. As always, click the like button if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe for more content. Woo! Hell yeah, boys. Oh. Leave a comment down below if any questions. Back out onto another road there, and we're back into another trail. At this point, my legs are getting pretty jelly. over trail here starting to head towards uh, the final trail that I unfortunately don't have on my GoPro because it died but yeah we're heading towards that last gnarly trail 
riding down a riverbed. Which is fairly difficult on the pit bike, but it's totally doable, as you can see. Tansky's uh, another motorcycle park that's nearby that uh, I haven't gone to yet with the motorbike. So that'll probably be where I end up going and filming one of these next few weekends here. Which is exciting to hear because I, I really enjoyed this like single track style stuff. It was just all new and I know I haven't ridden it all because I've gone four wheeling a lot in my Toyota pickup, but or my 4Runner. But you know, I haven't taken it on any of these trails because they're all motorcycle trails. say if you guys have enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like down below uh, subscribe for more content and turn on your notifications so you can get notified when we upload new awesome content uh, and leave a comment down below if you guys have any questions like always I always answer you guys comments down below uh, and let you know what's up if you uh, want to know anything so thank you guys so much for watching today's video until next time peace out guys